We are very grateful to the RSA for hosting a series of lectures designed to explore ideas which can shape a new political economy for the arts and culture in England. And it falls to me just six weeks into chairing the Arts Council to deliver the first. In the last month, I visited ten of our cities to take the temperature of arts and culture outside London. Bristol, Nottingham, Gateshead, Birmingham, Manchester. And what I saw wasn't for the privileged few. It was art and culture that was for everyone, regardless of their age or background. In my tour, I've seen some of the finest galleries in Europe. The Manchester Art Gallery, the Baltic in Gateshead, the Nottingham Contemporary. I've met people who produce some of our greatest music, from the Halle to the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra to the Sage. In London, surely the world's capital of culture, I've been to extraordinary theatre, opera, ballet, contemporary dance, concerts, galleries and museums. Let's remember that years of sustained investment in arts and culture have given us these riches that we enjoy. So what cultural learning or riches did I bring back from my grand tour? A compelling idea that our arts and cultural landscape is now being shaped through what I'm calling a grand partnership. It's an idea that can be found in action in places across the country. It contemplates bold new ways of doing things, fighting to create cultural prosperity first, and alongside it, economic prosperity. It's the way I see our cultural life thriving, even in challenging times. The Grand Partnership excels when arts and culture galvanise local communities, when they're delivered in imaginative partnerships with individuals supporting it, local authorities, businesses, and higher education. They work towards goals that benefit everyone. But the grand partnership shouldn't stop there. Anyone can be part of it. Voluntary organizations, commercial arts companies, trusts and foundations. I went to the Nottingham Lace Market Development, also known as the City Deal. There, the partners include the Nottingham Contemporary, Broadway Media Center, Antenna, and New College Nottingham. They leverage 60 million of government funds to develop this creative quarter, and it's led to job creation and addressing a skills gap in the city. I sat down in the Nottingham Confentry for a meeting with many of the partners in this enterprise, and the city councillor who came to that meeting wasn't the city councillor in charge of culture. It was the city councillor in charge of economic development. I found that extremely significant. 